Alrighty, here is Mr. Holy Shift, and we are on our way to a really cool destination, which should take us probably about two days and about maybe 700 miles. It is 6.15 a.m. We got probably about, I don't know, I'm going to say a five to six hour ride, depending on how many stops we take. And we're going north towards Canada. A little chilly this morning, probably about 38 degrees. took uh, a little longer trip I guess since Daytona but this place has been on my radar for quite some time it's called the Grand Canyon of the Northeast all right 298 miles to go take our first break we're only about 50 miles in but believe it or not I'm actually friggin freezing we left it was like 38 degrees and that's what I also have been telling you guys with the windshield and stuff and the and the Memphis Shades hand guards. If I had the Memphis Shades hand guards on, I didn't expect it to be 38 degrees today, right? But that's why you always got to be prepared. Memphis Shades hand guards, I would have been fine with the heated grips, but I'm not. My fingers are cold. I do not have my heated gloves with me. And the 11 inch windshield would have done wonders. So I'm going to refuel, talk to you guys in a minute, grab a cup of Joe. Freedom progress into the digital realm. Ghost. All right, I had some breakfast, couple eggs, some bacon, Sandy's inside on the shitter. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say I wasn't, uh, wasn't too prepared today. I should have brought my heated gloves with me. As soon as I get back home from this trip, Memphis Shades hand guards are going on and staying on. And I think uh, the 11 inch windshield is definitely staying on. Yes, it is getting into summer, but again, like today, you never know when you're gonna come across that situation when you're out on a long trip. It could be in the 80s, 90s, but you don't know what's gonna happen with the weather. I'd rather be safe than sorry, rather have it than not have it. And like today, even though, you know, I knew it was gonna be a little chilly, but still, it was, rather cold this morning and there's no reason for you to be uncomfortable on a ride there's no there's no point in that when you do take a, a long trip you want to be you want to be comfortable you want to enjoy the ride you want to enjoy the experience not you know your hands freezing or um you know a lot of wind at your face the six inch windshield is good it's great it looks great but it just doesn't give you that wind protection because I'm six foot two inches tall. And if you guys could see, you know, it just, 
hits your helmet it's loud the wind noise and stuff so 11 inch and the memphis shades handguards definitely going back on and staying on for good absolutely not like this cock -a listen right all here. i can say all i can say is when you're <laughs> never go for a number two in a in a gas station when you have your heated didn't, gear, didn't i tell you didn't you i tell you listen, i'm a when shitter you have your heated gear on try to wipe uh, your ass to with toilet paper with these things they probably they probably uh they probably went into the toilet we got 254 miles to go three hours 42 minutes going to make quick pit stop because I gotta I gotta use the bathroom you might as well fuel up have have some warm to drink we got about another 150 miles to go so not too bad No rush, slowly but surely. <laughs> ah, nice in the sun. Wrong turn, Clyde. <laughs> We got about 147 miles to go, about two hours. Plane landing. Hey, Nadal, Sandman. <laughs> Talking about guys, nobody really out on the road. That's when, you know, I did my second iron bar up in New York State and I did the bun burner, which is 1500 miles in under 36 hours. I also did that in New York State, so check out those videos. This is why I did it here, is because there's nobody on the road. You know, 80, 85, 90, you're going with the flow of traffic. You could really lay down a lot, a lot of miles in a short period of time. So if you guys ever are thinking about doing an iron butt 
or a bun burner you know this is kind of a great area or um you know or whatever state you're in just definitely you know go into pretty much kind of like a rural area so this way you know you guys could get the most bang for your buck so to speak to get the most miles in a short amount of time because you don't want to be get going to places where you're going to hit a lot of traffic or doing like 40 50 miles an hour it's going to take you a long long time if you're up state uh in new york going on 87 like towards canada literally i was the only person on the highway i had nobody in front of me nobody behind me for miles and miles so that's where kind of you're going to get the most miles in the shortest amount of time possible work hard get dough i can't get no sleep which make my life more simple miles inside these shoes so i don't stomp i tiptoe fell a thousand times and still i roll no limp though but i wouldn't trade a thing for what i have Really getting into the rural country right now. We got about 22 more miles to our destination. It was a beautiful ride. We're about seven miles out. Probably stop, stretch out the legs and refuel before we get into the state park. Look out empty it is i mean look at look at that view i'm gonna fuel up now so this way once because the park's right down the road this way once we're done we could just head out we don't need to look for another gas station because i'm sure they're going to be pretty sparse around here <laughs> only 90 octane up here in New York State you see no 93 but the bike will run fine on 90 we even had to put 87 octane when we went to Sturgis around South Dakota a lot of those states around there trust me I'm telling you they only had like 87 octane and we had to carry fuel octane booster me and Glenn had to carry that with us in our bag because they only had 87 and our bikes are tuned on 93 so they run like shit <laughs> so if you are doing long trips it's always good to carry like two little bottles of octane booster that's what we did up in Sturgis we picked some up and at every fuel stop we just made sure we always had an extra one on us and it does help like just like now this is only 90 but 90 is still okay it's not the best but it's still okay bike will run fine but on 87 the bike runs like shit I mean it still runs but it just just runs like crap we're gonna pull over here and just stretch the legs out. There's Kaka Poo Poo over there. Big bully. <laughs> He's a big bully. That's his new nickname, Bully. Bullying me uh, with that lowrider ST. <laughs> you see his eyes? <laughs> what are you butchering over here? My, it, this thing fell off my cat, my uh, helmet. It's my mount. The problem is the bat. The you know what? You know what the problem is? He doesn't want to buy. Oh, I'm going to buy. He doesn't want to buy a chin mount, a real mount. He makes this caca poo poo piece. No. <laughs> <laughs> it actually fits. It's a caca poo poo. What is it? It actually fits. Epoxy. What is this? Yeah, shit? it is. <laughs> the problem is that uh, the adhesive that I put the 3M wasn't strong enough, and that's what came yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna poo -poo. buy the three. The the we got a little Pringles action. So 300 miles in, nice ride, taking our time, relaxing, enjoying the open roads. Cause literally all the highways, like when you go really up north into New York State, there's nobody on the roads. Four miles down is Letchworth State Park. We just refueled. How you feeling, buddy? How's your ride, buddy? How's your ride, buddy? ride buddy like how is your ride partner not too good <laughs> because you're 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 hopping 
back and forth into lanes. And when I look in my rear view, I don't see you and it scares me. So make sure you stay staggered behind me. How many times do I have to tell this guy? Motorcycle riding 101, okay? Cycle fanatic. Lesson number one, Cycle ride fanatic. staggered behind the front person. All right. I am staggered. So I could see you. I am staggered. So I know where you are at Once all times. Left, if any of you guys ride like he does, don't do that. <laughs> it definitely got a lot warmer. Old looking town. Pretty cool though. Finders keepers. All right, we got to make a left here. How you doing? Good, how are you today? Hi. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. How is it, nice? Yep, park is beautiful. You know, 17 miles long, so you gotta go all the way to the other end if you wanna see the waterfalls. Oh, wow. Wow, so there's like stops along the way? Lots of them. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right, so I guess there's a bunch of stuff to do here in the park. All right, what's over here? Let's check this out. Wow. That's that's a dam. Water's supposed to be full in there, but it's absolutely totally dry. Isn't that crazy, Sandy? Huh? What's going on? It's like empty. Why? I have no idea. It's totally dry. It's, uh, this park was founded by Mr. Letchworth in 1907. He gave like 1,300 acres to create the park and then they kept adding and adding and now it's like 14,000 acres. So we're gonna keep going because the park is, uh, the park is 17 miles long. This is, this is it. I don't know, I just don't know. I think the drone, the, I captured it with the drone. I gotta look back at the footage. I don't know where that water actually went, but I think it went towards the dam. Nice ride, nice peaceful ride. Nobody here. Check out this over here. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Well, very nice up till now. I hope uh, we get to see the falls soon. Let's see what else is here. Reminds me. So part, far, so far, pretty cool. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Hawk's Nest area, the Delaware. Yeah, that yeah. But it's steeper over here. You think a bigger, so? A bigger drop. Well, Hawk's Nest is about thousand feet. It's pretty high. Oh, so this is yeah. I think this is six hundred. I the, the, yeah. Hawk's Nest might have it. I got you. But as yeah. far as the height. The Mad Max. All right, let's keep going. Seventeen miles. We still got some ways to go. Think there's a cool bridge up ahead and the falls, right? Yeah. He said something a about the falls. falls. Yeah. All right. idea what that is. Oh, this is pretty cool. A little uh, This view, now this view is <laughs> really cool. Holy cow. View, some view, definitely nice. I love exploring. This is like the funnest thing I can do. It's like going to a place where I've never been to and just taking your time and exploring, you know? No rush, it just gets better and better once you start getting deeper into the park. Wow, 
That is pretty amazing. Wow, that is a straight drop down. Holy cow. So far, this is probably the best, no? Look out. Oh, yeah. Out of all of them. Yeah. So you're going to have to probably go like 12, 13 miles into the park. I don't know what this lookout is called. It's because it's, uh, there's a, a U, we're at the tip of a U, a U uh, shaped curve, you know, so we get to see both sides. But look at this. Like, I'm not joking. Like, right there at that tree, it's like a negative. Negative. It goes in. It's crazy. It's freaky. It's literally straight down. I don't want to get any closer, but we're on a 600 foot cliff. There's no fence here or anything. Wow, really amazing. Look at this. Look at that. I'm gonna say, you definitely have to come here and check it out. Really, really nice. There's a couple lookouts along the way. This one, it's, I think it's like the third one, so far is the best. And look at, I, uh, the camera never does it justice, but that is just, it's amazing. All right, this was, this was called the Big Bend Overlook. So far, I am going to have to say the best one. It's freaking amazing. The road is really steep down. <laughs> I feel like I'm coming down Mount Washington. just keeps dropping us down, I guess, towards the Genesee River. Oh, wow, look at this. Holy cow, that's amazing. Wait until you guys see this. Let's go check this out. From here, it looks amazing. So this is what, almost at the end of the park, no Sandy? Yeah, it's the, almost at the southern tip. Wow, oh wow, that is pretty wild. It's a little sh short walk, maybe a couple hundred yards. Honestly, what we just seen back there was pretty beautiful, but this, I'm going to say, for me, anyway, takes the cake out of the whole park. This is beautiful.
How you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, guys, look at this. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Amazing. That is really nice. That looks like uh, just nice. You, you could just you could put it in a picture book. <laughs> it's amazing, huh? Beautiful. How clear the water looks. Yeah. Wow. Let me tell you, beautiful, huh, Sandy? Really amazing. Yeah, gorgeous. Amazing. It's definitely I'm gonna. It's definitely worth coming here. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Especially with that with that the little Ju bridge. I think that bridge. that's my favorite. The bridge with the what waterfall. The I think. I think. Picture. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. Right. What's your favorite? This. This. Literally, right. Literally. Yeah. I just love anything with water. Actually, you yeah. know what I mean. You know, you know, we, we like to have a joke at home. It's like, okay, you've seen waterfall, you've seen them all, because it's water from a high point yeah, falling to the low. Yeah, it's not true. They're course. all different. No, but they're all one, different. Like, this one was amazing. Like, I, I think, I think this is like the fourth or fifth waterfall video that I did uh, this year for you guys. If you guys haven't seen them, check them out. I even went in a winter time to that one. I wish you were there no, for that one. I they were beautiful. I think I was hiber probably, hibernating. No, it, no, you were probably working. Flying, yeah. You were probably flying. But uh, this one, uh, it's not as tall as the other ones, but it's, it's, it has its own beauty. Setup. It has its own beauty. Yeah. You, got the, you got the canyon, you have the bridge, and just that bridge makes a, a world yep. of difference, you know? And we came kind of in, in a good time. Oh, yeah, the it's sun not. Was it, at the right, 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 right. position? So. And it's not busy. Yeah. But definitely come check it out, Letchworth state park really beautiful but i'll tell you what right now i'm starving me too <laughs> <laughs> i'm starving um to be continued because we are not going home today uh we're gonna grab go grab something to eat uh then we got uh we we got to check into a hotel i don't even know where we're gonna stay and then we'll probably go somewhere uh else not sure yeah. to be continued hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys really appreciate every single one of you part one and uh part one yeah. and we'll see you guys tomorrow